All right, hey guys, this is Team with Fury Disc, and I'm back with another video for you today. Today, I have two great Grip EQ bags. For comparison, we have the BX3 on this side, the ATS on this side. ATS is only available at Ledgestone Shop, and the BX3 on this particular colorway is available at um, Ledgestone only. If you want the gray, the black, or the tan, you can go to Grip EQ's website to get the BX3. The uh, Ledgestone ATS one only comes in this colorway or a muted blue without the graphics. The reason why I'm doing this video is because these bags are similar in price. The uh, BX3 is 229, the ATS is 229. However, right now, the BX3, the solid colors, black and tan and gray, those are now right now 189 at Grip EQ's website. So if you're in the market for a bag, right now is a great time to purchase a Grip EQ bag. Yeah, so I'm going to go over the exterior and then uh, put the disc in here, tell you what the capacity, show you stability, uh, talk about functionality, and my overall conclusions of what I think of the bag. The dimensions and the weight are in the description of this video because I've done the, these bags so many times, I'm just going to put it in the description, description of the video. Um, the ATS, I believe, is 3.7 pounds and the... Um, BX3 I think is 3.9 pounds, but I'm not sure. Just go ahead and check it out in the description below and you can find the weight and dimensions there. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, we got the two bags right here. Let's go ahead and uh, start breaking them down. So I'm gonna start with the BX3, the putter pocket. These bags are very similar in terms of their shoulder straps and the materials. The BX3 is an, a 1000D nylon material plus a 420D nylon material. So what that means is that on the bottom, the bag right here, or majority of it, like on the sides right here, is going to be the 1000D nylon material. And then parts of the bag, like the pockets themselves, or the non, the parts that don't touch the ground or aren't going to uh, be um, in situations where they get worn down easily, those are going to be the 420D nylon. The ATS is a little different. It is an 840D nylon material with the 630D nylon material. The reason that Grip did that was because to make this bag a little bit lighter than most Tory series bags in their lineup. So at the bottom is going to be the 840D nylon, and then along here is going to be the 630D nylon material. So the weave's a little bit bigger on the bag overall compared to like this pocket here on the BX3. So overall, this bag is lighter than the BX3, even though the BX3 carries a little bit less disc, which I will show you in the capacity portion of this video. All right, let's begin at the top. All the zippers on the grip bags are, grip, are YKK zippers. They have these nice zipper poles with a rubberized, hard plastic rubber material with a little bit of a uh, grip. And that helps, that's a really nice touch, I think, on all the zipper pulls. The putter pocket starts with two D-rings at the top for the BX3. A big zipper that goes across like that, and that opens up to the quiver pocket. You're going to notice that this, the ATS is going to be the same thing. Quiver pocket has this little piece of fabric right here. This piece of fabric has this little red um, drawstring. This drawstring helps adjust the height of this fabric up and down like this inside the putter pocket to help adjust the height of the putters in the pocket. Moving down from there, most grip bags will have this material up here. In the past, they've done this where it's the Velcro piece, and then sometimes they put the Velcro piece down here. This particular colorway does not have the Velcro patch right here, but if you get the red, I'm sorry, the black, tan, and gray, it does have the, um, the Velcro patch, so like on this bag right here. To, uh, for customization. This particular bag just has the flag print right in here. Moving down from there, it's going to be a valuables pocket right in here with one zipper that goes across. And then going down from there, there is these two little slots right here. Honestly, on the BX3, I really don't see the point of having these those two slots here. You can put your mini in here. I mean, it'll, it'll hold. Uh, you can put a scorecard in here. It should hold just fine. However, with online live scoring and um, PDGA scoring cards, it's really no need to have your scorecards um, up here. But you can if you want to. The main compartment opens up via two zippers, just like that. Inside this, you have padding, very nice padding on the inside, and you have a Velcro piece. This Velcro piece attaches to its counterpart in the um, at the back of the bag. So if I do that, it 
keeps the flap up and that opens up to the main compartment and this does sit pretty high off the ground. Moving down from there, there is a hard bottom material here. There's going to be rails um, and then this is the 1000D nylon material that I was telling you about. The ATS is a very similar setup. We have the top zipper putter with the quiver pocket. Moving down from there, we have this print. This is a special print from Letstone. This is Lake Eureka. Well, I believe hole 12 at Lake Eureka. Then we have a patch, a Velcro patch here. These pouches came with, with the bag. And then the same valuable pocket here, just the zippers are different colorway compared to um, the BX3. And then uh, moving down from there, the main compartment has two YKK zippers, but blue instead of red. And then it does have this little slot right here. This slot is big enough to fit a disc, which I think is more useful than, than this slot over here on the BX3. This same flap right here is a little bit wider. You can see the, the opening is much wider than the BX3. And we have this foam piece along with the Velcro piece here. This Velcro piece is the same thing, meets its counterpart inside and holds the bag up. Moving down from there, this particular bag has a little slip right here. On the BX3, it does not, at least not on this colorway, the Paul McBeth colorway. Moving down from there, it also has the hard bottom material along with the rails that are screwed in just like the BX3. I'm going to measure zipper to zipper on opening, how wide the opening is of the ATS compared to the um, BX3. So that looks like it's 11 inches is the wide opening of the bag there. Zipper to zipper here. This is nine and a half inches. So you can see the opening on the ATS. You're, you're looking at uh, about an inch and a half much wider uh, than the BX3. So keep that in mind. Moving to the sides of the bag. The ATS, what they did is they brought back this pocket that runs from the top of the bag all the way to the bottom of the bag. Almost to the bottom, bottom of the bag. Their first versions in older bags had pockets like this. And what they did with the newer bags was they shortened that. So you can see this pocket does not go to the top of the bag. It goes and it doesn't go all the way to the bottom of the bag, just like over here. But the reason why um, Grip did that was that they allowed for this side pocket on the BX3 to be expandable like this. And the AX5 is the same setup as well. So even though the pocket's shorter, they've um, widened it compared to the ATS where it's longer, but there's no extra zippers and this is the only space you can get. So basically you're gaining space vertically on this pocket and this pocket you're getting space um, horizontally. Ultimately, it's just a matter of a preference on which kind of pocket you would rather deal with. I personally, I don't like the two zippers. I think it's too confusing for me. I prefer the one zipper and I like the, the um, lines of the pocket running the length of the bag versus cutting off right here. It looks goofy to me. That's just my opinion. So finishing off the side pocket of the BX3 here, you open that up, you have the grips good all into your pocket and this is identical on each side of the bag. And then you have this pocket right here. This pocket, you can put a mini here. There's pencil holders in here. You can also even put an umbrella or a stool and that feeds through this red strap right here and cinch it down and that's how you hold the stool. Moving on from there, we have cup holders. Grip's known for some really nice grip cup holders. These are very well padded. It's got a hole in the bottom right here to go ahead and uh, drain any kind of excess water inside the pocket. Also has pencil holders back here. Don't know how many pencil holders you would need. The other side of the um, BX3 bag is a little different in terms of side pocket. It does not have that red strap to hold down the umbrella or the um, stool. That you will have to keep secure on this side only where the strap is. But the rest of the pocket is identical, including this expandable zipper right here to widen up the pocket. So those are the side pockets on the BX3. The ATS have already kind of alluded to this. It's got the similar setup with this little pocket for your mini, or you can put your stool or your umbrella in here, feed it through this red loop, cinch it down, it holds it. It does not have an expandable zipper. It's just one zipper, but it runs a little bit longer than the other zipper on the BX3. The cup holder is same padding, except it's all red, and also the same drain hole on the bottom right here. The other pocket is exactly identical. So on the ATS, you can see just a slight difference that you can actually put the stool or the umbrella on either side of the bag because both sides of the bags have this strap right here, whereas the BX3 does not. Moving to the back of the bag. 
Just wanted to point out, ATS also has 2D rings, just like the Grip, the BX3 over here. The padding is pretty much identical, just different colors. On the back here, you have nice 3D mesh material. It's very soft. You also have these two right here for the shoulders, and then one big patch right down here for the lumbar support. It does have a zipper. You can open this up and put items in here. Normally, I put a rain fly in here. I, that's what I would recommend using it for instead of other things that can be bulky and could um, dig into your lumbar. Your lumbar. Same setup over here. There's a slight difference with the BX3. BX3 has an extra strap that goes down like this before this strap gets sewn over it. There's a little bit of extra padding right here. I'm not really sure what that's about, but there is extra padding right here compared to this where you can see there's no extra padding. It's just the... Um, the tough fabric that runs along the hall loop part here, whereas this, there's um, padding running across underneath that as well. So there's a slight difference there. And the BX3 does feel, the padding on the BX3 does feel a lot thicker than this one and a lot more refined. But It's got the soft pieces running along here. So when you're wearing it and it happens to be touching your chest or your, um, or anywhere on your shoulder, it's much more comfortable and soft feel compared to the ATS. Uh, both of them have this little loop right here. These are just to put on extra carabiners if you want to carry extra stuff. Um, the BX3 has this dark blue padding, just as exactly identical to the ATS. Same pocket with the zipper down here to put in whatever you want. I would just recommend, again, the Rainfly. And they both have sternum, sternum straps, and they're very functional, and they work very well. So that's the exterior of the back. Let's go ahead and fill them up and see what they look like. All right, I've got the bags filled up with discs, and um, I also have a water bottle. This is a 32 ounce water bottle. These pockets on these grip bags can only hold a maximum of 32 ounce bottles. Anything bigger than that, it's not gonna fit in the pocket because the pocket is one size. Um, smaller bottles will be fine in here because this portion of the pocket is sits taller than the ones in the back right here so if you put a smaller water bottle in here it'll fit just fine you can see how high it goes up on this big water bottle so it doesn't really like tip over if you put a smaller bottle in here it still functions very well so I'm going to go over the amount of discs that are in here. I did not put anything on the side pockets because that's a personal thing. You guys can figure out what you want to put in there. But I will say, I believe, from stuffing hoodies and um, like this hoodie right here and my long sleeve, those two items will fit in here, except I think it's a little bit easier to put it in the expandable one, even though I think it looks goofy. But I think it's easier because once you open this up like this, um, like stuffing this hoodie in here, it just, because it's so wide, the pocket itself is so wide, it's just easier to use it as a stuff sack. And then look how much room I have once I put it in here. Um, it looks goofy, but I think it's easier to use than this style pocket on here, even though this style pocket, to me, looks more aesthetically pleasing than the, uh, the big, wide, chunky looking pocket with the expandable zipper. And the expandable zipper is confusing to me. Uh, not confusing, but sometimes I mistakenly pull it. So for example, if I go to this pocket and it's just long, and if I just stuff this in here, it still works. It's just that when I get to, once I get to the top, because the pocket is so narrow and not wide like this, the, the space, the, the stuff gets filled up to the top and the top is more narrower than the bottom. So then uh, you kind of have to like finagle with this a little bit and you can see this here before you can zip it up. And you can see it will fit. It will do its job as it's intended. But you can see I'm fighting with it more. It looks prettier once it's in. It looks more sleek and slim compared to this wide pocket that's once expanded. But, ease of use, this pocket's easier to use to stuff the same hoodie versus this pocket. And then once this is in here, it's kind of stuffed. You really can't put anything else in here once this hoodie is stuffed in here. So, there's some limitations to the this style pocket on the ATS. Um, I didn't really put, the water bottle works the same on both cup holders. So there you go. And then I wanted to demonstrate the um, 
the uh, the stool. So imagine if this was an umbrella, it'd be the same concept. So basically, um, to loosen up that strap, feed the stool or the umbrella through here, feed the whole thing to, through this pocket, and then cinch, cinch this down. Now, because this pocket is, once it's expanded, it's wide, when you have this stool in here, the whole pocket will be wide like this, compared to this pocket. So, you can see, it's pretty sturdy. It's, is this the sturdiest system I've seen? No. Um, I think the Dynamic Disc Compact Ranger has a sturdy system, and so does Pound, Pound Bags. I'll demonstrate the same thing on this side, for the ATS, so you guys can see. And I think it's because this pocket is longer. You can see this sits a little bit, lot lower compared to this. So when I put this in here, and cinch this down, you can see that it kind of, and because this pocket is narrow, and when you put stuff in it, it doesn't like protrude out as much, the stool sits closer to the bag. So I think it has a better um, balance or center of gravity towards the bag versus this style pocket BX3. All right, so those are the things I wanted to point out before moving on with the discs here. So right now, I got two putters up here on the putter pocket. This pocket's rated for three, according to Grip EQ. I just don't have three in here because it's a new bag and it's hard to get it in and out, but you can definitely get three in here once it's broken in. I'm not gonna break it in because it's not my bag. There are two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17 discs in the main compartment, plus two at the top is 19, and if you do three, it'll be 20. So that's 20 on the BX3. I've got three putters up here in the ATS. This is a bag that I was using for a month, so this pocket is broken in, so I can definitely fit three comfortably up here. The main compartment is two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, plus three is 21. I can probably fit, honestly, another disc in here. So that's 22. So relative, relatively 20 is, is the nice number of discs that these bags can hold. But this one, I think right now, there's two, four, six mid-range in here. So you can probably fit a couple more discs. So that's 21 to 23, maybe 24. This one, I've got one, two, three, four putters, and three mid-range. So that's seven putters in mid-range. One, two, three. Yeah. So this one can probably go up to 22, um, 20, 23. So they're relatively almost the same in terms of uh, capacity. But I think this one you can probably break in more because look how much room there is in here. So like if I take this out right now. It's really easy to get discs in and out of this ATS bag, honestly. And even if I have, so I can actually go, go ahead and even put an extra disc in here and just stuff it. So that's three, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 23. And there's definitely room in here to put more. So it can hold a lot of discs. And this pocket right here, I love this pocket on this bag compared to the BX3 because I can pull disc in and out and there's still plenty of room to have not to, to not have so much friction getting the disc in and out and putting it back in. The end on this bag, if I pull it out, it's really, really nice to pull on the, I mean the end of the, uh, the bag. So like if I take this out right here, but yeah, it still comes out pretty nicely compared to previous grip bags. Um, on the BX3, on the other hand, these pockets, I can't really put anything in. It doesn't fit, like here. See, like it doesn't fit. Pulling stuff out on the end here, it does work, but there's a little bit of like, it may be because it's new, so it's not broken in, whereas this is broken in. Maybe that's why. But pulling the disc in the middle, it comes out pretty easily. Not, a, not too hard. But there's nothing here, so if you put something there, it might be a problem. But overall, it still functions as a 20, 21, 22 disc bag compared to the ATS-5. Um, it does sit a little bit taller too, so I think this pocket might have a little bit more room compared to the ATS, but honestly, this valuables pocket on all grip bags are so good, it doesn't even matter. It holds pretty much everything that you want, that you need in there. Um, so yeah, that's the overall um, comparison. 
So I will say they're both comfortable, like pretty much the same comfort if, uh, in my opinion. I've worn both. I've walked around the house with this bag and the same comfort level. So it's slightly heavier, so for long rounds, I'm willing to bet that the ATS is gonna be, it's gonna hold up a little bit longer um, in terms of comfort. I prefer the pockets on the ATS, even though it's harder to work, but I prefer the looks of it. But in terms of easy, ease of function, this, this pocket is nice with the expandable pocket there. Um, I like, I prefer taking the discs in and out of the ATS more than I do the BX3. I think it's because it's just so narrow here and um, like, and then I feel like this sits taller, even though it doesn't look like it does. Um, and, and so I just prefer the big wide open feel and the ease of to getting this in and out at 23 discs in this bag. Um, I also feel the putter pocket on both of these. It's a little hard to get discs in and out. It doesn't seem like it's uh, getting caught in the zippers or anything like that. I love the D-rings. They both have the same amount of D-rings. Um, the only thing is that the ATS has D-rings on the straps, whereas the BX3 does not. Grip used to do this in all their bags, is putting D-rings on here, on these, stra uh, these straps. Some people use them, some people don't. Depends on who you are, but they stopped doing it on the other bags and they brought it back on the ATS. So yeah, so that's um, the comparison between the two bags. They're both comfortable. They both have pretty decent capacity. I think the ATS might have one or two, can carry one or two more discs. I love the slim factor. I love the lightness of the ATS over the BX3. Um, otherwise, they're almost identical bags, really. They're, they're, they're priced the same right now, but only because Ledgestone has it with a uh, special edition, edition buzz. Without that, it would just be a $200 bag, uh, if anything. Um, they're both stable bags. I feel like because the ATS sits a little bit lower to the ground compared to the um, BX3, I think it's a little bit more stable. Um, why did I buy this bag? Well, I really didn't buy these bags. Um, the BX3, I just borrowed it because I knew that it was a good comparison. And I've worn many grip bags in the past, so it's really not that much different from the other bags I've used. But I, I was the best comparison for a $200 bag compared to other competitors on the market. That's why I borrowed it. The ATS I got as a player's pack, and um, I used it for a while. And the reason why I chose it over the other player's pack items is because um, I, I, they brought back this style here they made it lighter and they put the two straps here for the stool um, so i just wanted to see what the differences were or were and if there's any improvements compared to their current bag so they pretty much took like the x5 and the bx3 and they kind of like took a little bit of each and put it together as a bag for um a, to, to basically to market it as a lightweight tour series bag that's why it's called ats so yeah so that's why i chose the bag and i it did not disappoint it's actually a very good bag I enjoy carrying it for the month that I had it, um, that I was uh, doing it for the review. So yeah, um, and then the last question is that, um, who are these bags for? Well, you can actually use both to do tournaments. You can actually use both as a tourist series. Um, however, I think if you are if you don't have a caddy, I think you might want to go with the lighter bag, which is this guy right here over the over the course of the uh, the season because it's such a it's, it's just overall lighter. And, it, and you feel the difference if you're going three or four hour rounds, especially if there's a lot of backups um, and you're having to deal with your bag and you have to carry it. Or if it's a longer course, then you're going to want a lighter bag. And then um, would I buy this for my family? I think if I were to pick one, I think I would pick the ATS to purchase for my family over the BX3. Um, only because again, it's a lot lighter weight and, um, and I think the print just looks cooler than your normal BX3. This just happens to be a Paul Macbeth version, but most BX3s don't have this color scheme. I think all of them are black, tan, or gray. So I would choose this color scheme over the, the a regular BX3. But yeah, that's my overall comparison of these two bags. I hope you guys enjoy. Any questions, comments, leave it below and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.